This girl can get the top of the exam every year, but this time, she failed by five points to pass. She threw the report card into the trash, but her father found it and scolded her. The father encouraged her to work harder to get a perfect score next time. He confiscated her desire bag as a punishment for this. Kelly feels a lot of pressure and has to study hard. The next day, when she was going to take the test, her father told her in advance about motivational nonsense. Kelly nodded at her father's words. At that moment, Bella was standing silently on the opposite side of the road. Watching all this indifferently, it turns out that a year ago, Kelly had always gotten the top grades and suddenly failed. And her best friend, Anna, got the first place in this exam. Kelly was so aggressive that she didn't like being second. So she decided to make her best friend suffer a little. After class, she gathered some of her classmates to humiliate Anna and recorded a video as a threat. Afterwards, all of her bullies suffered badly. Anna was also mentally devastated by the incident. Lucy and Kelly guessed that they would be the next ones to get revenge. But Kelly didn't care about that. She was only worried about the next exam. But this time, she failed to get the top grade in the class. And instead, she fell to 15th place. Doing even worse than usual, this was a serious blow to Kelly's self-confidence. She called her father for comfort, but her father was too busy shooting an endorsement commercial to pay attention to her. This made Kelly even more anxious. That's when she received a friend request text message and opened it to see her dead best friend. Is it possible that Anna's account has been stolen? Just as she was wondering, she heard a familiar voice. <laughs> It turns out her dead best friend is standing right in front of her eyes and walking towards her. Kelly was so scared that she backed up and her pupils were dilated ten times. The next thing she knew, there was a chicken claw on her shoulder. She looked back and saw Bella, and her best friend had disappeared. Was she hallucinating? After returning home, she wrote a 10,000 word letter to her father, promising to work harder. When her father saw her attitude of correcting her mistakes, he stopped blaming her and told her to learn from the good students. So Kelly told him that Bella, who had just transferred to the school, was the top student. Her father thought, no pains, no gains. Inspired by her father, Kelly followed Bella and tried to find out everything about her whereabouts. She found Bella walking into a building then followed her into a store. The owner called it a spiritual pharmacy. The medicine here can greatly improve the efficiency of learning. The girl eagerly opened the package and saw a magic pill and swallowed it directly into her throat. The next second, her whole blood seems to be connected. The brain instantly becomes smart. Her eyes became sharp, as if releasing some kind of magic power. A bunch of difficult exam questions were solved by her instantly. The next day, Kelly came back to the store with great enthusiasm and bought twice the amount of pills from the owner. Because she had taken the magic pill before, her ranking in the mock exam improved by 50 places. The clerk picked up a more potent medicine, but the price of this medicine is more expensive. 20 pills cost 100,000 yen. Kelly had only managed to buy 6 pills with all his savings. Kelly knew very well that this amount of pills would not allow her to achieve first place in the long run. Just as she was going home, the bad girl in her class called her. She seemed to know the people in and out of the building well and understood that Kelly was in need of money. So the bad girl said, that there were rich people spending their time in room 901 upstairs every day. In that pitch black, you just need to wear a mask so you can't see each other's faces. That girl also told her that she could earn a lot of money if she stayed in room 901 for one night. Kelly immediately refused and turned around and left. <laughs> At that moment, Bella suddenly appeared not far away. But the next moment, Bella mysteriously disappeared again. Just after Kelly got home, her father introduced Kelly to his new girlfriend. He announced that they were going to get married soon. Kelly couldn't accept this fact and turned around and ran out of the house. She was walking down the street as if she had lost her mind. Bella appeared behind her and asked her why she was so concerned about her grades. Kelly replied that her father was too good and she would be criticized for not trying. She admitted that she wasn't interested in her grades at all. She just didn't want to disappoint her father, so she had to study hard. It turns out that her father is a very famous professor, who often does commercials and endorsements. But Kelly lost her mother at a very young age, so she left her father and daughter to live together. The father, who is both a father and a mother, has been very strict with his daughter since childhood. He hopes his daughter will grow up to be as good as him. The girl is crazy to take magic pills in order to improve her performance. 
As soon as she stops taking the pills, she will be very uncomfortable. But the price of the pills is getting more expensive every time, which makes her unable to afford. Because the last time she bought pills, she had spent all her savings. Without the aid of the magic pill, she sweats constantly during the exam and her mind goes blank and she can't even read the questions. Then the eraser fell on the floor. She leaned down to pick up the eraser but someone else picked it up. She looked up and saw her best friend with blood on her face appearing again. Then the students, who had been involved in the bullying and died, surrounded her and looked at her horribly. She was so scared that she covered her ears and cowered in the corner until the teacher came over and woke her up. It turned out to be Kelly's hallucination. As it turns out, she failed the test again. Kelly had nowhere else to go and finally found the courage to walk into room 901. If she stays here for one night, she can earn 200,000 yen. Kelly thought that no one would recognize her with a mask on. Then a man in a mask came along. But in the end, she couldn't accept the deal and smashed the man and stole his wallet and ran out. Kelly rushes into the spiritual pharmacy. But no matter how hard she knocked, no one answered the door. A neighbor kindly told her that the owner of the pharmacy had run away two days ago. Kelly went downstairs disappointed, but suddenly smelled a familiar smell on her wallet. She pulled out her id card and found that it was her father's wallet. Kelly couldn't believe what she saw. The intimate actions she had just taken with her father came back to her mind. The image of her father as a great man collapsed. Kelly's mind went completely off the rails at that moment. She pulled a knife out of her school bag and cut off her tongue, which had been kissed by her father. At this point, she felt sick to her stomach. Then she went back to her room and stabbed her father one by one. The next day, the story was soon on the news. They were both in a coma from the blood loss. That's when the psychiatrist got a call from Lucy. Will Bella's next revenge target be her? You can subscribe to my channel for the next episode.